Big Blue will bring you the best in New York Giant Sports Talk and Entertainment. It's two for two Friday. Why not? We're going to do a live stream tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to do two videos today. The first video we're going to do is going to be the anatomy of a blowout loss. Why the Giants could potentially lose this game by 50 points. This is a video a lot of people aren't going to like. These are the videos that people complain about. They say, oh, you're so negative. You're so terrible. You're so horrible. Oh, my goodness. How can you live with yourself? I said it, I said it a million times. I think of the Simpsons and I think of the character that's supposed to be Arnold Schwarzenegger and he makes terrible movies and the movie critic comes up to him and goes to him, how can you live with yourself? How do you sleep at night? And he goes on a big pile of money with lots and lots of beautiful women. So that's how I, I only have one beautiful woman. So, but we're going to talk about the anatomy of a blowout. I, I, I think once again, some fans are underestimating the Rams. They're, they're, they're looking past this game in some regards that the Rams are a paper lion, that they are, they are not as good as their record, 4-1 record indicates number two overall in the NFC West division. That Sean McVay is an overrated head coach, that this team, this team is ripe for an upset. Okay. Well, let's talk about the anatomy of a blowout loss, potentially. Matthew Stadford right now is dialed in. He's, he's, he's ringing it up for the Rams. And I know people are going to point to the fact that, that well, you know, he had a, he's, he's got a thumb problem. He's got, he's got, he, he, he hurt his pinky or he hurt his index finger or whatever it was. He's not even listed on their list of potential or any, he's not listed anywhere in reference to their injury report. So I, I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. I think it's going to be more of an issue for the Giants that he's not hurt. And some probably wish he was, but you never want to wish anyone being hurt. But he finally got out of the doldrums of Detroit, and, and he, he's, he's made a good progression. He made a good fit going into L.A. He's 117 out of 172, completing 68% of his passes, 1,587 yards, 12 touchdowns, three interceptions. He's doing well. He's, he's dialed in. His yards per attempt is 9.2. That is crazy. That he's 9.2 in his yards per attempt, and he's averaging over 300 yards a game. This guy could potentially pick us apart for 400 yards and four touchdowns. And then if it's bad enough that we're not, we're not even getting into the wide receivers yet, but then you go into his running backs. You got Henderson, who rushed for almost 300 yards, averaging almost five yards a carry. If if you take a look at him statistically at this point at this point in time, he's touched the ball or is accounted for 72.9% of the Rams running backs total touches in four games. That's a higher rate than Dalvin Cook. Think about that. He's a guy that has the potential he, to, to be that game changer. And then you then you toss in Sony Michelle. Who is you know he 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 had he had he had some he had some good uh, not good years but he he had some good games with the Pats but he's a, he's a nice complimentary back I mean that could spell trouble for the Giants in reference to their wonderful or I should say poor run defense because our run defense is poor so you you could you could you could say what you can say whatever you want about it. And then you got you got old Cooper at the one of the wide receivers. He's already got 37 catches for 523 yards. You got Robert Woods behind him at 27 for 332. You got Van Jefferson 14 for 242. You got Higby the tight end for 17 166. You even you even have Deshaun Jackson with 17 with 215 catches for 30, he's averaging 30.7 yards. A reception. It's it's their their offense could be prolific. Is it the million dollar backfield from the Rams of old with the Y.A. Tittle? And no one's gonna know what that is. I just like throwing references and had no one has any freaking clue what the hell I'm talking about. I don't know. But this is the quarterback that Sean McVay has always wanted in Matthew Stafford. This is the quarterback he's always wanted. He he got he got stuck with you know you know whom who's now over in Detroit. But this is the guy he's always wanted. He, he probably wishes he had him at least three years ago. And then if you break down the Rams' defense, you, you still have Aaron Donald, Leonard Floyd, Sebastian Joseph. What's his name? Uh, Justin Hollins. 
I mean, they're 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 you got uh, what's his name Jordan Fuller over at what do you see over at the safety? You got Kenny Young, one of the linebackers. Kenny Young's been playing well. You got Darius Williams at the other corner. You got Jalen Ramsey. And the thing about Jalen Ramsey is he's going to get we. The league already knows you can get into the head easily of Kadarius Tony, and Jalen Ramsey is a notorious trash talker. Notorious trash talker. There is a potential that Kadarius Tony could be facing another suspension. Well, he's not getting suspended, but he could get ejected again if he doesn't keep if he doesn't keep his wits about him. The Rams are a well-built, well-constructed team that has many options both on offense and defense and potentially could give the Giants fits. And and there, and there's really no and there's really no way around that. There's no way there's no way of looking at that. And one of the th- one of the little nuggets that I was looking at, which I thought was kind of interesting, that the Rams have allowed a league low four sacks through five games. Only one other team has produced fewer sacks, and I love it because I always hear this guy is always harassed. This guy is always he has a bad pocket. That's the Giants. The Giants have only allowed eight sacks this season. The big question is can. We get anywhere near Matthew Stafford? No. Uh, I, I'm not over. I'm not going to say I'm not over. I'm, it's not that I'm not overly impressed by the line of the, of the, of the Rams, even though they've only given up full sacks. It's just I'm, I'm not impressed with our edge. I'm not impressed with the presence we're getting from the middle of the line, the push we're getting. And I worry about some of the matchups. I, why, can someone just tell me, why is Dory Jackson playing like seven yards off the ball? It just reminds me of a James Betcher defense, man. I used to scream about that with the defensive backs play so far off the ball. And, and I know some people tell you it's like baseball when a center fielder has a preference to playing deep or playing shallow. But when you're playing that far off the ball and you're getting toasted, you got to move up. You got to try something different. Just, just, just throwing that out there. Can the Giants win this game? Well, anyone can win any game. Will they have the will? Is this an, another anatomy of another blowout loss? I have the I have the feeling, and I'm not gonna tell you who I'm gonna pick to win. Because we're gonna do we're doing two videos today. I have a feeling the Giants, the Rams could drop 45 points on this giant defense right now. I know they're at home, well, but we've seen the Rams beat us at home before. Uh, I think Flipper Anderson is still running, but I have a feeling this is a bad matchup for the Giants. And the Rams could easily drop 42. And I think the defensive pressure that we are going to get, I have no confidence in Billy Price against Aaron Donald. I have no confidence whatsoever. This could be another, this could be blowout number two. Will it be? I don't know. You have to wait to the live stream. The live stream will be tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be referred to as that stream is going to be the anatomy of a blowout win for the Giants. And we're going to talk exactly the opposite. Do a, do a couple of things. Hopefully raise some money from the, for the uh, Philadelphia Children's Hospital. Because all Super Chats, of course, as you know, go to the Philadelphia Children's Hospital. We had a very good month last month donating money. I was very proud of everyone. And uh, we, we know, we, we'll see everyone tonight at 9. And again, this is Tim with Online Big Blue. We'll bring you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. And as always, if you could like, and subscribe, ring the button, you know what I mean? Love you, awesome.